I am here with Art Reisman on his tour of amazing roadside birds. It is excellent. Not only are we going to visit every roadside attraction that we come across, but we're going to do something that's never been done before, and that is document the birds. We are at, this is our second trip to the world's um, Talker City's ball of sizzle twine, largest, whatever. And right now, all I hear is, I hear two, two house sparrows. Um, oh, like there's a whole, a whole history. Is there anything about the birds? Cocker City on there? Nothing about birds. Nothing. So people don't appreciate birds. Oh, there goes a bird. Dude. Oh my God. Uh, that's that, that was a grackle. I could tell. I didn't get it on the film, but you'll have to trust me now. So house sparrows and a grackle, and I, I think I saw a starling. So we got three birds here. I think it's time to go. Do you have to read the whole sign? Because I got all my birds. Um, he did bird park extensively, actually just for like two minutes. Uh -huh. And uh, we've got house sparrow, European starling, a northern cardinal, um, an American robin, count the starling. And you didn't even mention over here another statue oh, yeah, of liberty. There's, there's more in this park than just this church. And then uh, I did see a grackle flying over. And this never happens. And when you're doing roadside attractions, to get two. Two, not one, but two Statue of Liberties in one day, and four species of bird. All right, so we're still in Glen whatever, Kansas, Glen Ellen. Glen Elder. Glen Elder. And to much to our surprise, this is the trifecta. Okay, so we already had four species of birds. Um, we had the tiny church that was locked and couldn't go in there. It's kind of disappointing. We had a little, another Statue of Liberty, and the bonus is this little castle. Three roadside attractions for the money, and it didn't cost anything. How much did we pay to do it? Zero. Yeah, there's other roadside stuff here, but there's only one bird so far. There's like a dinosaur thing down there. Again, this is just past Beverly, Kansas, and you can come here to see this and listen to a metal arc. So we're back in Norton, Kansas. Um, they actually have two restored gas stations that we can bird. And if you recall, at the last one, we had chimney swifts. They're still here. They're flying over. So the bird list for, I think maybe I'll just combine the bird list for these two since they're so close together. What? And Sandy's more interested in the roadside attraction. She's not really participating in the birding, obviously. This is my roadside attraction, Kerwin National Wildlife Refuge. Art complained the whole time that this doesn't count as a roadside attraction. And what he's doing, instead of looking at this gorgeous beauty, is washing the window on his truck. Good. So we're at the mini Statue of Liberty. And what did we see here? First we saw, and I thought you were lying, scissor tail flycatcher male, gorgeous, stunning. And then I look and I saw what I thought was a whippoorwill. It's a common nighthawk and it flew off on a wire. Two amazing birds in this little attraction. This is a roadside attraction, Sandy, that has a bird nest almost within it, right there. There's a sparrow's nest. Oh my gosh. So that's incredible. Abilene, Texas, the world's largest belt buckle. Aspie. What? Oh my god. Let's go over. We're on top of we're still on top of the belt buckle and we had yeah, this keeps happening to us. We get a bunch of crappy birds like starlings and robins. Because okay. I know most people don't like to, you know, judge birds, but I do. So if I say a starling is a crappy bird, it is. But 
We saw something pretty amazing. I got photos of it. What was it? A Mississippi kite. So yeah, from Abilene, Texas, good. the bird list for the world's largest bird belt buckle includes a robin, a western kingbird, a house finch, starling, Eurasian colored dove, and Mississippi kite. Mississippi kite. This is our last roadside attraction of our trip because we'll be in Missouri and once we get the border, um, no more Kansas roadside attraction and no more Kansas roadside attraction birdless. But this is going to be the crumb that we're going to cram because we're in the truck range, but there's the shooting range. There's uh, a peacock above me, that doesn't really count. And we're going to take a walk through the truck, truck hinge. And oh, there goes the Baltimore Oriole. Amazing birds. Oh, there goes the peacock. Anyways, here's the truck. Um, so anyways, but more important than the truck hinge and the, and is the birds that we saw here. That's our whole reason for being. So we've seen a cardinal, a Carolina wren, a cedar waxwing, a robin, a turkey vulture just flew over. Um, what else? Anything else? Um, orchard oriole. Orchard oriole and, and a Baltimore oriole. I think and um, tree swallows. And tree swallows. So Excellent birding. If you're trying to bird roadside attractions, this is the place to go. Um, some of those urban roadside attractions uh, only have, you know, starlings and sparrows. But you come here, um, you can get some. You can get some serious birds and and oh, and the peacock. I mean, the peacock, even though it's domestic. Four of them. Four of them. Um, I'm going to count them on the bird list.